Ay, hermoso. It is 6.13. 6.13 p.m. We had a good morning. My mom came over. She made our gondigas. Brian actually just brought conchas and he got me some arnica tea because I am so swollen. And my mom came through once again. She made hot chocolate. I'm boiling up the water for some tea. My Noah, he's been eating a lot. And he's, Brian's literally just midway feeding him. I'm pumping, and he's almost done with his milk. Yeah. <laughs> Make up. We're actually gonna move this table. This used to be the table that was like in this corner of the kitchen before we remodeled it. It was like our little breakfast nook. And now we obviously don't have that spot. So now we have to get rid of this table. We have this here too. A little changing station, a little bassinet. Can't wait to eventually use his little playpen. I'm having hot chocolate with a concha right now. I'm so excited. Uh, apparently hot chocolate is supposed to help with milk production. And also I just soaked my feet in hot water with vinegar and salt because my feet, the swelling is insane after this C-section. Yeah. I'm trying to lean off like the pen medicate pain medication and mm -hmm. I feel like I really feel not a lot but even like my my swelling on my legs like mm, it kind of hurts where I'm like uncomfortable oh my god Stephanie she said hers were bad <gasps> Goals, huh? that looks painful oh what about these cold packs I don't know if that would work mm. So both of my feet are swollen. Uh, my left foot's a little bit more swollen than my right foot. And it just hurts. Like my skin feels like it's like really stretched. And I was kind of freaking out. I just texted my friend. She had a recent uh, C-section recently. And I was like, girl, were your feet like really swollen? Like, so with Briancito, my first C-section, my feet were swollen, I remember. If I'm honest, I don't know if I remember like them being in pain. You know, things are different now. I think like even like with my C-section, the recovery was smoother. So I really don't even know. Like it, none of that stands out to me. So this time around, Around, I'm like oh my goodness like the pains a little more intense uh, the swelling is more intense it could be because of, it was my second c-section too you know you're cutting in the same incision and stuff so the the healing has been just a little bit more like a little more difficult but I'm like leaning off a little bit of the pain medication so it could be that too and yeah Poopy. He's ready. This fits a little big on him. So we're on our way to his first doctor's appointment and we'll see what they tell us. So when he was at the hospital, he was kind of developing jaundice. I wasn't too worried because I don't know, I feel like it's, very it's a very common thing. Obviously, if it goes untreated, it, it could be like dangerous. But I did notice like, you know, a difference. Like the first few days, he started turning really red. And like around his eyes, he was like yellow. And they did tell me those were signs of jaundice, but it never got to the level of them putting him, like putting him under the light. So they told us to keep a close eye on it. I feel like he still has it. And in general, I think- From I what know. they were telling us, as they were checking him daily, he was getting further away from them getting close to like checking him. Yeah. But even they said like, while jaundice as itself goes away as like, the more you feed and the like more the and more the yeah. baby poops. So it's not something we're really concerned about, honestly. But I did notice yesterday his face was looking like he was really red. He looks a lot better today, so we'll see what they tell us. And in general, you know, they're gonna check him. I think he's doing amazing. I am still honestly over the moon. I'm shocked. My baby had no complications, nothing when he was born. He, I don't know, I just assumed that he was going to be put in the NICU for whatever reason, you know, maybe having trouble breathing or, you know, I feel like a lot of babies naturally, some of them do end up going to the, the NICU, even if it's like small little things. So I'm just, I feel so blessed that he literally had no, no type of complication. I mean, he literally, from the moment he was born, he was with us the whole time. So I'm just like, so grateful to God that he is doing so good. Like this is the type of things that, you know, since we went through with our first child in the NICU, it was like 
really hard for me to even understand that my baby would be fine without needing like tubes or anything and that's god like we literally me and brian like we'll look at each other and we're like he is so healthy like he is so healthy he was born at 37 weeks and four days and it did kind of like concern me even though my mom had like all of us at 37 weeks i was like I don't know for me it was just hard to accept that he was gonna be completely fine so I'm so grateful to grateful to God just hearing him cry just seeing him just do him and be so healthy it's just like I'm so freaking grateful but yeah we're gonna go oh he's waking up good morning I feel like he's such a good baby like he's really he really is he just hates diaper changes like he really hates them even like the warm wipes i mean he doesn't he doesn't doesn't like it and any part of it doesn't like any part of it if anything i was gonna say he cries when he's hungry but even then like we have to wake him up to eat i would say the worst thing like he will literally just go crazy with diaper changes that's it so he's such a good baby but yeah we'll see what they tell us at the pediatrician <laughs> he's like i just want to go home I want to go home, Loki. My feet are killing me. You guys, it's the next day, so we did not finish vlogging yesterday. We had a little, a little turn, okay? So, um, his blood work ended up coming out great. Right after the appointment, they had told us to go get blood work done. Uh, so he got blood work done. His blood work came out amazing. He does not, like, it's, it's getting better. He doesn't need to go, like, under the light. So right after that, I've been experiencing, like, swelling on my legs, but my left leg was, like, a little bit more swollen than my right. I I want to say a lot but no it was kind of obvious and my entire left from like my foot to my hip was in pain so i told my doctor i was like hey you know that's how i feel and i showed him a picture and he said it was like really obvious that my left foot was like more swollen and he, he was like um go get it checked out go to urgent care he, we were trying to avoid the emergency room because we know when you go to the er it takes forever <sighs> Well, the urgent care, um, they weren't doing like leg ultrasounds, so it was like urgent in case I had a blood clot, like so dramatic, right? Because we were already in LA, like I had to literally go to the ER at Cedars. I, was, I got there at 12, I left at like 11, p.m. or 10 p.m. something 11. insane oh my goodness you know they did tests they did everything and I was free of blood, blood clots thank god um, but it was very dramatic I was like getting scared because once my doctor like told me to go I was like oh so it's like it's concerning you know so that's why we didn't like vlog yesterday oh my goodness i swear you guys my anxiety like it's just like on another freaking level and when my doctor tells me like you should go to urgent care or to the er then i start freaking out because i'm pretty dramatic but if my doctor's telling me to i'm like oh shoot so i was really scared but thankfully everything's fine my swelling actually did go down i started noticing last night though because they gave me iv my arms were like a little bit swollen like i could feel like them a little uncomfortable but i woke up they're a lot better and yeah that has been my life these past days and i was like dreading going to the er because i knew i was gonna be there forever noah's one week mm -hmm. oh my god noah also turned <laughs> one week today like how does time fly like that's just so insane Ugh. I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, I was like so, I was dreading going to the ER. Dreading it, but I knew how important it was in case like, you know, worst case scenario, obviously, because I even had got there and I was like, um, how long is the wait? I'm not, I literally told them, I'm like, I'm not from here. Do you, if it's too long, like, should I just go like closer to where I live? And the lady, in the front literally told me she was like honey if you have a blood clot like that's not something to take light and you can imagine like just hearing that i was like i started getting more anxious i was like oh my goodness so this is like like real something real you know so i waited it out obviously because i was like well this is like my freaking life on the line so <sighs> everything came out fine but you can imagine my anxiety like oh my goodness like the recovery of a c-section is something else i'm telling you I don't know, it's a little crazy. But Noah turned a week today. Like, wow. 
turned a week. He's already a week. He's doing so freaking good. Right now, he actually is due for his feeding. I am doing so much better at latching him on. Last night, I told Brian, I'm like, my boobs are engorged. My boobs are so engorged, girl, because I was at the freaking hospital, right? And I'm there, like, trying to hand pump with, like, my, my little um, hand manual pump. And thank God I brought that because my boobs, like, I don't know how they would have been. They were, like, on fire. And I was only able to pump, like, twice, literally from, like, 12 to 10 p.m. I only pumped twice. So you can imagine, like, my boobs were on fire fire and that milk i obviously had to like throw out but oh my god they were so engorged and i swore that i was like this is gonna dry out my boobs like i was so scared so at nighttime um when i got home i took advantage i was like i'm gonna latch him on like i'm doing this and i did he struggled a little bit i think he gets used to the bottle not having to do so much work but i was like no like we can't keep doing this i was like hold on let me put the camera down but yeah i was like i can't keep doing this like i need to latch him on even if he gets like fussy so it took some tries eventually i latched him on with a nipple shield nipple shield and that's been working because i'm still struggling like even myself to like latch him and then funny enough on my left side the nipple shield fell off and he just ended up like getting a good grip and he fed like so well the only thing is when i pump i pump 15 minutes the most like 20 and with him he does like literally not exaggerating like probably like 20 30 minutes on each boob so you know we're still learning we are still learning together it's okay but i'm glad i was able to latch him on but i did pump this morning after i latched him on because like i said he takes a while and i feel like he's not like fully like taking it all out because my boobs still feel like engorged after so this is what i was able to pump this was after i latched him on so that's why i feel like he takes a while because he's not like fully grabbing like he is i hear him like gulping but he gets like impatient um so i think right now literally um because in the beginning he was struggling so much in the beginning i wasn't producing much we were doing part breast milk and formula and right now i'm just trying to like lean off the formula and just do breast milk i feel like he he's not even picky like we've tried different different bottles he'll complain a little bit but he's willing to try different bottles so that's a good thing too and that's the thing that i like that he's not just like all about the boob or all about the, the bottles because it gives me the flexibility of like if i want to i mean actually he's still struggling to latch but it gives me the flexibility flexibility like if i need to do something like brian can give him my milk in a bottle you know what i mean so it's working out great i think right now we're struggling more with latching but even then we are getting it done so yay girl tell me why i was so excited to use my pot filler we literally got home to a whole new kitchen but I was using my pot filler because I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to boil some beans, you know. I like to have beans stored in the fridge throughout the week and I can do a bunch of things with it. But we don't got freaking beans, girl. Since we went a whole month without a kitchen, I've just been so eager to cook. So I was like, I'm just going to at least make some beans, girl. And we're out of beans, so that just means we need a grocery shop. I don't know if I showed you guys. My suegra decorated the day that we got home. She is such a queen. We also received some flowers from Beauty Creations. Thank you. And then we actually have some flowers delivered from gold dip but i thought it was so cute of her like to decorate like the fact that they came to just do all this we already the house is already looking like a baby's here for sure we put this on the floor oh these are the ones from gold dip how cute i probably should clean the kitchen and put them on the island noah is he hasn't woke up yet <laughs> he's like he's going back to sleep Hey you. Hello. No. I came upstairs to pump really fast. My sweat eye is coming over, so I pumped downstairs earlier, but my sweat is coming over and I was like, okay, I'm just gonna pump up here in case she gets here and stuff. So I'm gonna pump. Noah had he had like a full bottle of my, of my breast milk. I was gonna latch them on afterwards, but I think he did get full with that. So I'm gonna pump what I can right now. And yeah, I think right now we're just pumping and trying to latch them on. That's very much what we're doing. So we'll see how much we get out because I feel very like engorged right now. It's kind of funny seeing how this like uh, sleep deprivation is not just me and Brian, but like Coco literally looks exhausted. And I'm like, girl, what did he do? He looks like he had a rough night. Like if he was the one taking care of the baby. Last night, I really didn't sleep much, honestly. I was at the hospital the whole freaking day in the ER. I felt so bad for Brian and Noah. But because I was at the ER the whole day, I felt so bad for Brian. So I kind of just like let him sleep in and... By the time I hit like 4 or 5 a.m. I was like, I need you to get up because I am like exhausted. Mm. 
it doesn't feel good but like it feels like it feels nice to release it i mean it hurts and that like first letdown it's just like i feel like i get a bajon is that weird whoa we have a lot of milk so i'm using the Madela little pumping machine i love this one i use this one for when i used to pump for brian cito and i used to get a lot of milk supply and i'm starting to notice this is like the third time using it i get a lot more uh, milk supply with this one i was doing like the hand pump uh because we couldn't find some of the pieces and last night brian was like up at 5 a.m like finding them because i was just so done with like the the hand one it was just too complicated i was doing 15 minutes on each boob and it took me like over 30 minutes just to pump so i was like i need like my hands free i need the pump and i love it because i'm even noticing it's like better milk supply but i'm gonna finish pumping and i might just like take a little nap because I am really feeling it right now. My mom came through with some, what is it, caldo de pollo? Mm, 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 mm. Yummy. Can y'all see that? Yummy. So freaking good, you guys. I'm gonna have some of this and I'm just gonna fall asleep after this because I'm so tired. Oh my goodness. Bomb. Ay, mi amor hermoso. Uy. Ay, mi amor. You're gonna get so cold, my baby. I'm scared because you pee every time. Shh, shh, shh. I cannot open these wipes. There you go. You did so good. It's like the scary part because he really hates these diaper changes. Like, you gotta catch him when he's like knocked out. Cause once he's awake, that's it, girl. Okay, you have to eat, baby. I don't know. You okay? <laughs> Some milk I pumped earlier. I haven't like put him in the fridge because I'm kind of doing it like after either after I pump I give it to him or a couple of hours after. I'm wondering how long it lasts like in the fridge. At no way can add like I feel like this is not enough. This was just like left over from the last week. If I see he doesn't take this, I'm just gonna pump in hopes that he waits like the 15 minutes. Let's try the milky. Where's your burping cloth? Yeah, he's gonna finish this. Hey y'all, how are you? Today is Mia's birthday. She's turning two. So we're heading out. I'm still like not trying to go out. So I'm just going strictly to Karina's. It is like really warm outside. I think it's like 80 degrees. So it's like my first time actually stepping out without like a sweater. I feel kind of weird because I don't know if you guys believe in like the cuarentena of like air not hitting you and stuff. I feel like I've been kind of following it. Um, I've been eating like gallos every single day and all that stuff. I try not to go out, but I've gone to my mom's obviously. I went the other days with Luis and the kids can meet him. Uh, but I... I'm not like doing anything crazy. Got my Stanley. My house is still a disaster, but let's go. Hi, Noah. You're a little angry boy today, huh? Yeah. He's not having it. This is my first time too. I literally have him just in a onesie with like pants because it's really warm out, but still have his little blanket. I actually ended up putting on a crew neck over you guys because my mom told me about like the if air hits you, like your milk could dry out. But it was really warm in the house, so I brought him like in a onesie with pants and we're gonna put on his little top. He's like, girl, don't touch me. Y si me puede pegar aire en los oídos? Okay. She's covering my ears so I can. Yo me acuerdo, yo no hice cuarentena más con mía. No. Pero cuando da pecho ella se debe de cuidar más su espalda y todo, porque se va a secar la leche si no se cuida. Queen. Y dice que otra jamás la tomó en la cabeza. My head was hurting the other day. Yeah. And I was like, why is it hurting? That's when I told you I was like, is something wrong with my blood pressure? And I was like, fine. So I have cotton balls in my ears, y'all, because apparently. It's bad for you. Hi guys, how are you? We are officially 17 days postpartum. I am right here about to drink my body armor. It's my first day going to uh, going back to work. And I don't wanna say work, cause I feel like if, I, if it felt like work, I would not be going back. Let me tell you that right now, girl. I'm, I'm gonna go film the podcast with my sister. I'm excited. I'm kind of curious to hear like your thoughts about quarantena and like what it means to you and how strict you do it because I feel like like me going to my sisters like I'm breaking my quarantena I feel like for a lot of people 
it just wouldn't be like um, part of the quarantena. Uh, for me, I feel like I'm still doing it, girl. Like I've gone to my sister a couple times. I make sure that I'm covered up. Mind you, it's like 70 something degrees. I'm kind of sweating a little bit, but I'm like in full, like I have a full set, girl. I am covered up. My mom, last time I went to Karina, she put cotton balls in my ears. So I feel like I'm following it. I don't know, I feel like some people, I feel like the Senoras are gonna be like, girl, no you're not. <laughs> but it's fine, it's okay. Like back in the days, my mom was telling me how people did not shower or anything. They wouldn't even step out of their bedroom. I'm like, what in the world? Talk about postpartum depression, girl. Like how could you not get depressed being in, in a room for 40 days? I don't know, I kind of want to talk about this today on the podcast too, like what quarentena means to you and like how strict it used to be compared to now. I'm curious, did you guys do like a quarentena after having your child? In your own way, like you know, obviously like for me, I feel like I'm doing it, but we all have our own ways, our own little rules or what we follow, what we don't. What did you do different? Like what did you not do? I want to know actually because I feel like I see a lot of people, like a lot of like people in our culture do it, but I don't see like a lot of other people that do it. I feel like it's more of our, our culture, right? I don't know. Let me know. But we got Brian in the front. I don't know when I'll ever see the front days. Like, I, I just don't know. Like the only day would probably be like when say there's like, like if we go on a date on, or something. But that's yeah. why I say there's something going on and we get like some of the babies. I crave to go out with Noah and Brian like as a little family and go have like breakfast and stuff but I'm still holding off on that because I do feel like it's too soon it just you know scares me a little bit but yeah I'm like I really actually like I can't wait to like go to my first outing like real real outing I'm, like going to just eat with the, with the family you know like that just sounds so like fun to me but yeah we're on our way and hopefully Brian can get some Starbucks for us uh, it's just hard because I don't think he could just go you know like I feel like I have to leave Noah to my mom because uh, we still don't have like a little camera or anything back here girl I just got here and I'm over here like I just put my pumps I'm really gonna be like out here on the podcast with my pumps on okay let's go <laughs> my dad's like all scared to carry him like girl please you guys i'm back this is crazy y'all this is wild like i i feel weird y'all i have to be careful how i sit because i've been just like in pain with this c-section i feel like because yeah. it's my second one it just feels like more intense so yeah. i had to be like oh yeah yeah and if you don't if you don't want to sit on the pillow if you need to sit another way <sighs> just sit how you need to sit okay y'all i'm heading out the fam got some pizza i'm trying to stay away from stuff like this but i'm like really hungry right now come on bundy girl we're in a rush heading out because Brian's brother's going over to the house. But yeah, I'm having some pizza with some bread. Girl, I've been literally having Carlos like every single day. So it's kind of nice to have some pizza. But we had pizza a couple days ago. I think it was like on a Saturday. I just don't want to overdo it, you know. Why am I going in the front? What in the world? Me forgetting that I'm like a back passenger princess now, imagine. Get Coco in from the front. Come on, Coco. Hey, Dios, mi bebe hermoso. Coco. I mean, baby, what's so? No, it looks so funny. I don't like how Brian puts this. This has to be more in the front. Okay, y'all, we just got home. I'm cleaning a little bit. Brian's brother just got here. But I'm cleaning because it's gotten insane. Insane. I'm putting uh, dishes in the dishwasher. And, girl, it's just a lot everywhere. <laughs> Okay, I officially stopped cleaning. We had pizza again. <laughs> Brian got pizza because his brother came over. They already left, but um, I'm gonna take a little break because I'm feeling tired. I think it's like finally kicking in, but yeah. 
I'm gonna take a break because there's just like a lot to do. There's just like the house has just gotten a little unorganized. Like the dishwasher, I think it's almost done. I have to still wash like some of the pumps and else. Just a bunch of things like ground, honestly, that I have to do. I'll probably do like that a little bit later.